Hi there, Steve Jensen, Dr. J from the National Sales Academy and Impact Training Corporation. I'm sure you know that by now. <laughs> How you been? Hope you had a great week. Hope things are traveling along really smoothly for you. Today's a bit different. Sales. Isn't that funny word, sales? What is sales? Selling is a dirty word, they say. <laughs> well, if we take it back to the, the real essence of sales, it's a conversation, isn't it? Selling is just a conversation which has a decision-making process, which actually has either a trading of services and or money or collateral. And people make such a big deal about it, but, there's a big but, there's not much in business more sales won't fix. And every business needs a sale. We need to get some revenue, we need to then make sure that we have an ROI and all that sort of jazz. So, selling. And I was thinking about it and, uh, you know, we talk about sales, we're training in sales and all that sort of jazz. And I'm going to do a bit of a dovetail every now and then and not just bombard you with sales stuff. But when it comes down to sales, what is it? Well, it's really important to businesses and um, achieving a target is exceptionally important as well, making sure we get, you know, a return. And sales can be, it's the hardest paid hard work and the lowest paid easy work in the world, isn't it? And if you can sell something, you can go anywhere around the world if you know the language and be able to walk into a business and say, hey, would you like me to maximize your income potential and make you some money? So it's a great career. And it gives you lots of opportunities. It Gives you self-esteem if you have that confidence to do that. It actually, you know, you get paid extra money and commissions and acknowledgement and bonuses and all that good stuff. And when it comes down to the material things. And to maintain a, a, uh, a good sales career, you've got to make sure that you have a, an exciting, something needs to be exciting, you know, having wins. But if you have this mentality, which I've been talking about for a little while now, a uh, uh, a one chance mentality in getting a decision at the end. Decision at the end just to sell. Look, there's going to excite some people and getting that sale is always great. It's like catching a fish and then letting it go, or whatever the case may be. But I believe it's really essential for people to have longevity in this career of professional communication is to go from this selling mentality to a to a helping mentality. You know, help more people get what they want and you'll get what you want, they say. Isn't that right? So, look, I've been training and presenting and helping businesses for over 30 plus years. And I must say that um, I've learned that the people that really truly love smashing targets and, and achieving and making sure they do whatever it takes are usually really successful, but, and it's a, again a but, <laughs> The, the people that have an absolute passion and commitment and belief that their, their product and service is really needed by the consumer, their prospect or the person they've just engaged with, they really are passionate about it. They love their product, they love what it does, they, they use it themselves, there's this, there's this overwhelming um, commitment to helping that person make a great decision because they got one too or they use it and they just believe in it so very much because I believe that the best sales professionals are communicating their passion but also their excitement of what's going to happen when the person gets the product and or service and that's a, an energy that just can't be faked. It's the emotional attachment to the happiness the other person's going to get or relieving their, their pain or their discomfort or worry. I'm really sort of like, I'm really excited for you, not I'm really excited to make the sale. <laughs> so I'll get you to think about how do you come across to your people? Are you truly excited about what it's going to do for that person and really step into their shoes? Or you you know, I know it's great to get the sale and it's great to hit the target and budget and then we have to have those KPIs, but as we're in the thick of things, go from that selling to helping mentality and really be into helping that person make a really great decision. 
and be excited for them because that's a contagious energy that makes people really say, wow, thank you for helping me. And then they sign the check or give you the cash. That's, a, that's an outcome of following the process. But a process can't come from in here. It has to go from here and you've got to learn the process and do it, but it's got to be delivered with that passion and that excitement. So have a think about, are you passionate about your product and service? And if you're not, start getting excited about it because what the outcome it's going to give someone is going to help them, it's going to relieve a stress, it's going to make them really happy. So it's a bit of a thought, I suppose, for today. And if you are that person that's excited about that possibility, that will be contagious. Have your process right and present with authenticity and you can both celebrate. I'm Dr. J. I'll be chatting with you real soon. Bye for now.